Still got that walking around clunkiness to it. This is well, the guy we race, right? I'm the fastest apprentice. I ran to the demon door and back in fifth. <clears throat> right then, get to the demon door and back, and you didn't even get to the demon. I did it. You again? Crap. You did... Right then. Demon door and back. Fifty seconds. Any apprentices need will training? I wonder if rolling does make you go faster or not. But we shall see. It's going to be a close. That's Sweet. I didn't mean to skip that cutscene, but he said that's amazing. I did it. Uh, I still got one more training to do. The um, the magic training here. So let's go do that real quick. Any apprentices need will? You've got thirty seconds. There's a spec. All right, thirty seconds. And go. Pretty easy. All you have to do is just wait for it to turn around, lock on, and then shoot. Plus again. Will power veil, nice. And a resurrection file, nice. I still haven't seen anyone perform better than you. Well, I just was done performing, so how could you have seen someone perform better? When I was literally the last person. Alright, so I guess we're ready to continue on now, finally. We're ready to zoom into the future. With our blueberry pie intact. Any more uh, birds I can shoot down? Nah, don't worry about it. All right, Guild Master, we're here. Leave my teenage years behind. Yes. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. We he better would success. The guild and be free to forge his own destiny. Thanks he would become a hero. We need to success. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Let's do it. Good luck. Your character model's face looks definitely different as well. Looks more chiseled. In this version, the anniversary edition here. To improve your attributes and acquire new abilities, head back to the map room in the guild and walk to the experience spending platform i suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then yeah it's simple you must defeat me <clears throat> using all you've learned the arrows in the way but we'll begin with your sword hit me if you can do it <laughs> I thought that was like a glitch or something. You're getting better at this. Very good. Now, 
Shoot me with... Even if he blocks it, it still counts as a hit. So you just... You just gotta keep doing that. And now we gotta do lightning. And here, you just gotta push the button once. To shoot the lightning and it counts as a hit. That's enough. Pretty quick. Yes. Quite impressive for an <laughs> Excuse me. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. Well, I mean, that... But I would hope so if your, your boyfriend and trust. girlfriend. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. That's usually the way it works when you're like in that kind of relationship. It's a two-way relationship, but, but yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I keep hitting A to like sprint. All I have to do is hold it down. I don't know why I keep... Hey, wait, I can... Yep, still got that going on. I don't want to see my character's face a little bit better. Can I zoom in on it a little bit more? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Arrow guild. Back to the guild. Gold is the currency in the land of Albion. Use it to buy things from shops and trades. Pay for services and even for gambling. Nice. Well, this is the day land. I graduate. All I had to do was a few tasks here and there. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Sweet. Ah, oh, that's a load? What is that the load? It's all right here. Everything's already loaded. I guess it's a cutscene or whatever. Let the apprentices... Oh, no, we haven't seen this. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of... Yeah, your character definitely looks more Today, different than the original game. apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Yes, he or did. Right fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of he burped and farted. Those are all emotes that you can do in the game around people. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face <clears throat> of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you can do different emotes throughout the game. We're going to get more as we play. And uh, two of the ones you start off with is burping and farting. So, yeah. <laughs> it's time for you to leave us, lad. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Yeah. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. Now we're going to learn about leveling up here, which we'll kind of zip through a little bit. We have 600 experience, so we're all got, we got 600. So here they've moved it around a little bit. Okay, cool. <clears throat> You've got... Strength, skill, and will. And then underneath each one, you've got it broken down, or just all of them. So physique, health, and toughness. So I'm going to go with health. So health level 1 is 400, which I have 72 of, and I have 611 in general. Or do I want to... Don't worry about that. I kind of want to get health. So I've got 283 left. Guild level. Oh, Guile. I said guild. 
Makes you kind of get. Uh, yeah, let's might as well do that one. All we can do. We've got 17 left to spend. <laughs> okay, so we did it. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. Plus, he's going to talk to us as and we play as well. You will allow me to communicate with you at all times. Exactly. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I didn't I realize that. A basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Now the game starts. An hour in. <clears throat> Look at all that stuff. We got a seal. I don't know what that means. Is it a bronze? Did we? I don't know. No boasting. Okay, so we got two reservation files, a lamp, two healing portions, will potion, apple pie, thirty-one. 611, okay. New quest, okay. My girlfriend finds farting disgusting, but at my place I do it anyways. Check. We're gonna check the map. So we've got the Wasp Menace, which we can't do any of those. So we can only do... Can I even do the Wasp Menace? Oh, okay. Take, take that, okay. Sure, might as well do the Wasp Menace. This shows all the quests we can do. Oh, is this part of... Oh, this is, I think this is part of DLC, which is part of the... Um, because the Anniversary Edition has all of the DLC, as well as the Lost Chapters, too. I'd have to read on the box what it exactly has. But we got our very first quest. Let's do this. Uh, following the arrow, region... Uh, exits onto your map and get the location of your quest. Inventory contains further details. Oh. I didn't mean to hit B. Oh. I want to grab the box real quick. I want to see exactly what this has. Uh, let's see. Reimagine HD visuals and interesting setting up to... It's all here. It includes all the additional content from Fable Lost Chapters as well as the achievements for the first time. Okay, so it's just... It's just the first... Uh, so, yeah, Lost Chapters and then they added achievements. Okay, good. Uh, and it does have... They have checkpoints now. I might as well save the game. So it's got an auto save feature, it has checkpoints, and then we can also save, save the game. So that's good to know, because last time the auto save feature worked okay. But this also Remember, has checkpoints. Following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. Okay, so this is where we're going. Wasps are attacking the picnic area. Hurry! That's, that's what I'm going to do, dude. <laughs> Wasps me. are attacking the area. Going through that first. Hey, hey. I want to go get this key. Hold on. Silver keys. There's one out of 30 silver keys. Uh, why is farting important in Fable? It's so stupid. It's just part of the overall game. When they originally made the game, they wanted to make it the original idea, which people were really hyped about. And it still was, a, it still was pretty hyped up, and people really liked it. I really liked the original as well this one but um the whole idea behind the game itself was it was going to be an open world do whatever you want so they added in a bunch of different weapons and different play styles and different emotions and stuff that you can do for people around you because you get different responses out of everybody in the game depending on what you do so they have a bunch of different emotes that you can do Yeah, a bunch of different emotes and stuff that you can do in the game that uh, allows for. Wow, that's easy. Just different play styles. The, the whole idea was just to play the game however you wanted to wanted to play. Is the whole idea of the game? You're not bound by one choice or one option. You can be good. You can be bad. You can be in the middle. You can decide to be a disgusting evil person where you run around just farting all the time. You can be a nice, wholesome person where you don't do any of that. So yeah, it was mainly meant to be able to play the game however you wish. 
You are making good progress learning combat multipliers. The attacking definitely is a little bit more fluent than the original Fable game. I, I really like that. Switching between the attacks are very, very smooth as compared to the first one. The first one was good too, but this one definitely has a, a little bit easier way of just switching between them all. So that was sweet. He said, Ew Spore? What do you mean, Ew Spore? Thank you, thank you. I love how my character just takes it all in. 